Distinguished Fellow Mock EMS Delegate. Kaya, before I start, I'd like to respectfully acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land from which I am speaking on, the Noongar Nation, and I extend these respects to all First Nations people past, present and emerging. Today, I, Amelia Turk, am speaking from Wajak Noongar Budja in Western Australia to deliver the Australian country's statement. Australia is a giant country, affected by all sorts of natural disasters due to climate change, including floods, bushfires and coral bleaching. We are also, unfortunately, a large contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions, contributing to 1.1% of the global rate. In 2020, we experienced one of the most devastating bushfire seasons ever, with over 22 million hectares of land lost and 3 billion animals killed. This year, unprecedented and extremely damaging floods have encompassed both urban and regional parts of Australia, causing damage to cities, crops and isolated communities. Young people in Australia are worried about climate change and the effect, impacts that it is already having and will continue to have on our lifestyle and the environment. Young people are showing that they are angry at the lack of climate action by coming to strikes and setting up their own ways of getting their voices heard. Australia, like any country, should listen. They should act and they should include youth in their negotiations, parties and discussions. Most importantly, they need to show that they can act and not just listen. General education in Australia is pretty good. Almost everyone has access to quality education, with the unfortunate exception being remote isolated communities or people on farms in the outback. However, in general, Australia's education is very good. Climate education, however, is lacking. In Australia, each state has their own curriculum and each state and territory does things differently. The Australian government claims that sustainability is one of the three cross-curricular themes. Young people say otherwise. We believe that there is nowhere near enough climate education in our curriculums. And when it does come up, it's coming up in our later years of high school. Climate education should start in kindy when the students are four years old. Climate education is so important and it is vital that it is taught properly. Many teachers never learned about climate change at school and if they did, it was in a completely different context. This is causing issues um, in the current climate education in Australia as the teachers are trying to teach about climate education but not using current statistics. Unfortunately, many students that have been surveyed around the top environmental or climate issue in our country say the hole in our atmosphere. This should show how climate education needs to be adapted. Australia has so much potential when it comes to climate education. We have thousands of experts and the means to work out which system works best. We have have the opportunity to be a world leader where we can showcase our Aboriginal history and the sustainable practices that the Aboriginal people have used for over 60,000 years. Together, with all the delegates from countries around the world, we call for climate education in our curriculums. Australia can and should do better.